Welcome to our Five on Five. Please welcome back Democratic Oregon Secretary of State candidate Jamie McLeod Skinner. Good to see you again. So good to see How you. How are you? Yeah, really it's, been, uh, it's been a little over a year, I guess. Yeah, you, yeah, ran, yeah. you ran as a rural Democrat from Central Oregon uh, against Congressman Greg Walden. Yeah. How does that race inform this race for, for Secretary of State? Well, you know, folks are looking for all the same things. Good governance, responsible government, accountable government. Um, whether it's um, at the federal level or at the state level, those issues are, are really high on, on voters' minds. And uh, what I was trying to do last year, uh, essentially help flip the House and bring accountability to Washington, D.C., happened. I'm not there, but we, we're part of making it happen. So that looking at the path forward, the issues of election security and integrity, uh, making sure government's working for all of us through the audit process, and making sure we're making sustainable long-term decisions with our state lands and waterways has really got me focused on the Secretary of State's race. Uh, you're a National High School grad. You, I am. you were Phoenix City Manager yep. at one time, and now yep. you live in Central Oregon. Are you putting right. a lot of miles on the, I know when we talked <laughs> around, around this time last year, well, it would have been after the election, but yeah. well, you know, you were putting a lot of miles on that car. Are you, you spending uh, some time right now doing that as well? Well, yeah, and a total of almost 50,000 miles traveling the two-thirds of our state. That is the second congressional district. Yeah. But now spending a lot of time outside of that area. The fun part is it's only a third of our state left to go. Only 16 of the 36 counties are outside of the second congressional district. Mm -hmm. A lot of time up in the Portland metro area, connecting with voters, listening to issues, and really Really finding a lot of the same concerns across the board about making sure our elections are are well run, uh, making sure that voters' voices are heard, and again, sustainable approaches to management of our public resources and um, making sure government works well uh, through our, our audit process. What background experience do you feel has uh, best prepared you to be Oregon's next Secretary of State? Sure. Um, there's a combination of knowing local government from the ground on up. I've been everything from uh, frontline staff to uh, manager to managing multi-million dollar projects, actually, to overseeing regional efforts and then also serving as a policymaker. It's kind of a, a, a comparison of thinking about race car driving. There's, there's the pit crew lead, there's the mechanics, and there's the race car drivers. I'm the only one in this race who's been all three. Okay, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Great. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, here with Jamie McLeod, Skinner, Democratic candidate for Oregon Secretary of State. Uh, if, if elected, what are, your, what are your goals? What are your priorities for the position? Making sure that our elections are responsive and voters' voices are heard. And there are a lot of gaps we're finding right now that, that um, uh, uh, barriers to voting that people are finding. And so whether it's think, make changes we can make through the Secretary of State's office, there's also some advocacy I'd be doing for legislation to help things like um, uh, same-day voter registration I think is important. I'd really push to, to drop the voting age for young folks to high school age for school boards and education service district boards. I serve as an elected education service district board member in Jefferson County and allowing kids to weigh in on the uh, roles that impact them I think is important. Audits are critically important. Uh, the late Secretary Richardson, who's from our area, mm -hmm. um, he did a great job of bringing attention, uh, attention to aud the fact that audits can help us secure and protect Oregonians. I would take that a bit farther because he focused on state agencies. I think we also need to audit their subcontractors where some, of, and that's where kids have been falling through the cracks. Also on how we roll out those audits, I think we can both be, have rigorous audits and have a partnership model so that we're rebuilding trust in, in government. Um, and then lastly, the State Lands Board is critically important. Uh, and my environmental background, I'm an environmental attorney, that background I think will serve well in um, developing a sustainable vision for how we manage our, our public lands, our state lands and waterways. Oregon's a unique state in that it's a mostly a red state, but it is very blue, obviously, up in Portland. That's where the vast majority of voters are in our state. Are you spending a lot of time in Portland? Is that, is that, is that somewhere you're going to be living for, say, the next six months? <laughs> Not going to be living there, but uh, spending a lot of time up there and connecting with voters. And what I'm finding is across, across the state that we have a lot of the same basic things we're concerned about. Want to make sure our voices are heard. Want to make sure that our communities are, are cared for. And, and government spending our taxpayer dollars well. And that's, that's key to the role of Secretary of State. We also have redistricting coming up, um, and the Secretary of State, as you know, also serves as Lieutenant Governor. So making sure uh, that we have that statewide perspective is important. I'm the only candidate in the Democratic race who is, comes from outside of the Portland area. Mm. So as you mentioned, originally from uh, Southern Oregon, now live in Central Oregon, uh, and connected with a lot of voters across the state last year. 
that perspective, I think, is really important for a statewide office. Good to see you. Thanks very Great much for taking you. the time. Thanks the time. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.